What's up, friends? Welcome back. Thank you for joining me. I've got another review for you. This one is a Brickhead set. It's a two-pack. Disney Pixar, Wally, -E, and Eve. A double pack. Comes with 150 parts. It retails for 16 bucks, which I think is a good price. Obviously, it could be a little bit cheaper. I actually did get this cheaper at BAM. I paid about 8 bucks, and it was used. Everything's there. I think they're both great. Now, I got this for two reasons. One, to actually give to my sister as a gift because she's a big Wally Eve fan. And two, because I think it's one of the best brickheads that they've done. And I, I, the one brickheads I wish they would do, in fact, I would like a double pack, is if they did Rapunzel and Flynn Rider as a brickhead set. Why hasn't that happened yet? I wanted to get the Sweet Mayhem one a few years back. I wasn't able to get that, and I wanted to get the Boba Fett one, and I missed out on that. So having these two at least makes up for a little bit of that. Um, since there are no minifigs with this set, we're going to start with the builds. In this case, you get two of them. And what's really nice is you actually get two instruction manuals. I can show them. Actually, no. You, you've seen them. Um, you get two books, so you can build one and the other, which is really nice. I'm glad that LEGO is doing the double manual in these brickhead sets just to give both people something to do i do think wally is probably the better build of the two although i think eve is definitely my favorite of them and she's my favorite character so we'll take a look at her first she's really nice i really like it um there are two complaints i have one is really minor it's the fact that eve is is supposed to be very rounded and pretty much very um circular and spherical and this looks pretty close i think the back it should have definitely been rounded off um the body is okay looks good it's just it could have been more round but this is brick heads so we're working with bricks so you know it's it's a little bit limiting in that respect but i do really like the look of this uh eve character i think she looks fabulous the one big issue is I feel like the eyes are too far apart. They should have done jumpers where they're closer together. I'll probably do that on my own time. Just some I thought I'd point out. You got the black, you know, screen with the two blue eyes. It looks it looks really good. I just wish the eyes were closer together. It just I don't know. I just feel like that's the one big flaw with this one. Otherwise, there's not a lot of details. It's Eve. She's all white, very shiny, you know, Axiom robot. Um, she's got a great look to her, and she's floating on this little brick here. Take a, take that off so you can see that. You can see the little base. And there's actually a secret I wanted to show you. I wonder if I can take her apart to show you. Maybe? I'm gonna have to take her apart a little bit, just to show... Sorry, there's a little bit of a secret. Okay, let's move that up. And you can see here... It's a little plant, a little flower piece, one by one. And it's actually meant to represent the plant that she gets. Um, and it's really nice that they put that in there. Unfortunately, you're never going to see it because it's going to be covered up. But it is very nice that they decided to add that once you're, you know, once you're building it. You can see that little secret. It's pretty cool. And I also like the fact that her head's floating off the ground. You can see because of these, uh, these one by twos here. And they're in clear, so it looks like her head's floating, which is really nice. Looks pretty good. She's got her little arms here, which are made from these uh, shield pieces. You can angle these, too, so if you want to give her a different look, you can do that. And I'm sure there's... I've seen some mods online where you can give her the gun and some angry eyes or sad eyes. You can just, you know, change out her eyes by, you know, just having these simple little pieces. Um, they don't come with the set, you just get this standard version, but I still think it's great that they designed her. And she looks great, wonderful, I, I love the Eve, it's very nice. I'll give you a sneak peek too as to how her head's built, you can see. There's actually a lot of multicolors inside of the inside of um, these, which is really cool to see. But yeah, that's Eve, lovely character, lovely build, a little bit a very simple, but that's how she was in the film, so it makes sense. Part of me wishes she would have had a printed piece on the front, but it's not too bad. She definitely looks good. I think with some mods, you could definitely make her more rounded. Here's Wally. He's pretty much perfect. Like, Eve has a little bit of a flaws, but Wally, little... I call him Baby Wally, because he looks very cute. But the Brickhead's version is really nice. He's got a couple of accessories. First off, he's got the red toolbox, and he's got the 
the plant in a boot, which is both are really well done. I'll give you a better look at that. You can see that. It's very nice. And he's holding them there. Very, very nice to see. Um, Wally actually has three printed pieces. He's got this special 1x4 in dark yellow, which says the Wally, it has the Wally logo, which is really nice to see. And then he's got the printed eyes, which also look really good. Just st standard brick head eyes, actually. He's got the nice, you know, Wally head shape with the light gray and the dark gray on the head. And unlike Eve, he actually does have movable. Well, he really only has one move, move wing feature, and that's his head. So you can move this head pretty much forward and back. No side to side, but you can move his head, which is really nice. It's on a hinge. Here's the back. Now, my big problem with this Wally brick head, it's not really a problem. It's just something that they could have fixed, I guess, or improved on. It's the back is extremely flat, and there's no detail. It's just, like, dark yellow. It looks more orange on camera, but it's, like, the darker yellow. And there's just no detail. I wish there was some because it's just a little bit plain. But I think what's I think the best part about this figure is actually the treads. Because look how well they've done this. It's very nice to see. You've got these, you know, two by four, and then you've got these um, vent pieces as his treads. It's so clever the way they did that. And he is floating a little bit. If I take him off his stand, it's the standard brick head stand. And you've got these two clear one by twos once again. Um, so he can stand on there looking very cute and endearing and it's just a, a, a beautiful little Brickheads model. It's very nice. You can see the little, you know, power cells and uh, solar charge level. Obviously there's no detail, but just a couple tiles. It looks really good. And I like the, the color is very Wally. The dark yellow. It's very nice to see. I guess burnt yellow. It's more like it. I think it would have been amazing if they had somehow found a feature or found a way to to have the front open up and you can put the trash in there. That would probably be too much, but I think it would be really nice if they had done that. And it's just really cool to see this this iconic Pixar character finally as a brickhead. I feel like they take forever to make Disney brickheads. It's like every like I don't know two to three years, but. This is a perfect figure. I mean, aside from that detail on the back, which it doesn't look that bad. It's fine. Um, it's just a perfect figure. I mean, there's something really bad about it. Um, it's got the boot. He's got the proper, you know, pose, and he looks really nice. I guess maybe they could have finished off the tiling around here because there's a lot of stud showing. Um, maybe they could have tiled that off, but, you know, it's not that bad of a build. I really like it. It's very endearing. It's very cute. These two together are extremely cute. Um, that's what, another reason why I got it, because I love the film so much. It's like top, probably top five or ten Pixar films for me. It's it's up there. It's one of the one of the better one of the best ones. And I think, you know, these capture the film so well. Um, but before we end off, I did want to do a brief comparison. Here's the brick, standard brick heads, and here's a minifig for comparison, so you can see. Uh, Eve is a lot taller, and Wally is pretty tall as well. Not too much. Uh, it's not. These are like palm size, so good, good, good size builds. And then I actually wanted to compare the Brickheads Wally against the original Wally, if it'll, you know, focus or I guess line up. So you can see that there. Obviously, the Brickheads is very small, but it does look really good with the original Ideas Wally. Which is a phenomenal set, for sure. Um, obviously a lot bigger and more intricate, but, you know, for a small set, this one is really nice. And it's a really fun build as well. And it'll go great if you're a Pixar fan, if you're a big Lego enthusiast. And if you love Wally, you gotta pick this up. I mean, it's so cool, and they're adorable. They're really exciting to build, and they got lots of cool colors and very fun techniques. And... They just look perfect together. Um, again, aside from some of those little flaws, this is a, a, a great set. I would highly recommend buying them. Um, no discount needed. You can just pick them up at, at 15, 16 bucks. Not too bad. If you want to wait, they should be on sale now. And I just, I love it. I think it's great. I am a big Disney fan, big, tick, big Pixar fan. So this is really cool to have for sure. And uh, that's about it for this review. Nothing else uh, I have to say. Nothing really that bad with these two. I think they're done really well. That's about it. Let me know what you think of Wally and Eve Brickheads. Do you like it? Do you not? Do you think they could have done better? 
Um, what brickheads do you think they should do next? And which do you want to see me cover next? Um, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of Pixar, of Eve, of Wally, -E, and of Disney in the comments below. And uh, that's that. Thank you so much. I'll see you in the next one. Take care.